Hello, my name is Dr. Mario Romero, and I am the clinical director for Romero Dental Seminars. In this new webinar, I'm going to share with you a simplified restorative technique using Brilliant Everglow from Colteen. I hope you enjoy. In this case, I will be using Omnichroma to restore this large class 2 on tooth number 30. After placing my matrix band and wedges, I selectively etched rinsed and applied the universal bond by Tokuyama, which is a self-cure bonding system. And then completed my restoration using a centripetal technique as seen on the photos. Here are the before and after photos where we can observe a slightly lighter appearance of the restorative material when compared to the actual tooth structure, kind of like when you use an A1 shake. Personally, I think it is an acceptable match. It is important for me to say that both 29 and 31 were restored as well at a later appointment due to obvious reasons. Now let's look at what I consider my single shade for all posterior teeth I restore, Brilliant Everglow A2B2. For this patient, I am going to do multiple restorations in a single appointment. All preparations have been completed. We started out with deep margin elevation on tooth number 19, followed by deep margin elevation for tooth number 20. In both cases, we used resin modified glass ionomer. This was right after all restorations were completed. As you can see, for the smaller preparations, the restorations were almost imperceptible and a very good match for the larger restorations. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of both cases immediately after completion. I do want to mention that my observations and clinical experience with both materials is that the intrinsic opacity of Brilliant Everglow helps tremendously in regard to mimicking color when there is a lot of tooth structure missing like in the following case. As you can see, tooth number 12 has fractured off to the gum line and there is a large temporary restoration on tooth number 14 that we are going to restore using Brilliant Everglow A2B2. Ideal rubber dam isolation was achieved. After carriage removal and cleaning of the substrate, a total edge technique was used in combination with one coat seven universal. Deep margin elevation completed and two braided fibers were packed into the canal orifices. Here is a lateral view of the fibers. Using this wax up, we created buccal and lingual matrices to help us achieve ideal dental anatomy of these walls. Here you can see both buccal and lingual walls completed, followed by the placement of a matrix band and wedges to restore the proximal walls. Once completed, tooth number 12 we initiated restoration of tooth number 14. The first step was deep margin elevation using resin modified glass ionomer, followed by adding Brilliant Everglow A2B2 until all contours were restored. And here is the photo after occlusal adjustment and polishing using the shape guard system by Colteen. Again, the restorations have the right opacity even though, for tooth number 12, it is a full crown that was restored. On this side view of tooth number 12, again, look at the dentin-like opacity that mimics the surrounding natural dentition. We hope you found this information useful and applicable. Don't forget to visit our webpage, RomeroDentalSeminars.com, where you will find more clinical tips. Thank you for watching.